Well, it is the last day of the year, guys. Which of course means we have to talk about some serious stuff. The best movies of 2016. Now for me, this year in movies was absolutely great. Now, of course, there were a few kind of uh, missteps in uh, a few of the areas like comic book movies. Batman v Superman, kind of disappointing. Uh, but this year, as far as dramas and independent movies, uh, they have been great. Uh, they've been fantastic. I've really enjoyed them. Now, before I give you my top 10 list, let me say that I have not seen all of the uh, Oscar buzz movies this year. I have not seen Silence or Moonlight or Manchester by the Sea. This list is simply movies that I have seen. And so uh, if your favorite movie is not on here, it could just be that I have not seen it. Also, grades do not matter here, okay? This list says best, but really you should imagine a slash favorite right there. Just keep that in mind. This is uh, preference. Uh, all great films, no doubt, but if there's a A plus that's number 10 and there's a B plus at number five, it's just because I like the B plus more, the movie. I I'd watch it more times. I have talked too much. Let's just get this party started. Honorable mentions. 10 Cloverfield Lane. The Conjuring 2. The PFG. Star Trek Beyond. <laughs> Hell or high water. Deep water horizon. <laughs> the Jungle Book. And now our real list begins. Number 10. Deadpool. Deadpool is by far and away the funniest comic book movie ever made. It's a great action comedy, one of the best I've seen in years. Ryan Reynolds played Deadpool like he was born for it, because I'm pretty sure that he was. Number nine, Civil War. Civil War is one of the best comic book movies I've ever seen. It is really just, it is a great story. It's very tense. It's a very emotional movie. It's also a lot of fun. It's just, it's fantastic. Number eight, Swiss Army Man. This was one of the strangest movies I have ever seen, and it worked. It was hilarious. It was probably the best Daniel Radcliffe performance he's ever given. And I just, I thought it was so imaginative, so original, and I just, I really dug it. Number seven, The Accountant. Uh, these are imaginary dollar bills. The Accountant is a movie that I know a lot of people are not going to have on their top ten list, and that's fine. For me, it was just, it was an incredible Great unconventional crime action movie. It was very emotional, and I just, I really loved it. Number six, Captain Fantastic. This is a great, very smart thinking movie. This movie forces you to contemplate your own moral values, your own ideas, and it's actually a very uh, balanced and fair movie when it comes to uh, studying uh, different ideas and uh, viewpoints. And just it has a great Viggo Mortensen performance, and it's definitely a movie to see. One of the most important ones to see all year. Now we're getting to the top five, guys. These movies not only blew my socks off, but also my feet. Yeah. Number five, La La Land. La La Land was a great musical, a great romance, a great drama. It was the whole package. It was, it was just, it was extremely, extremely enjoyable. You cannot, I don't understand, like if you don't like La La Land, what? Number four, you understand? The Nice Guys. The Nice Guys is one of my favorite comedies. I recently just rewatched it the other night, uh, and I was astounded by how funny it was. I laughed out so hard, and I was alone. It's ridiculous. Ryan Gosling and Russell Crowe give incredible performances. Ryan Gosling especially. Just an astoundingly funny performance. This movie was criminally unseen also. I want a sequel. I don't think it's going to happen because the movie made no money. Um, I, 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 if any movie is going to become a cult classic, it's the nice guys. Number three. Rogue One, A Star Wars Story, or Star Wars Rogue One. This was the movie that I was waiting for. And I really liked Episode Seven, but I had a lot of problems with it, okay? It felt like Star Wars, but also kind of commercial, you know, that sort of thing. Star Wars Rogue One felt like a war movie, also a Star Wars movie, also a drama. It was an original story, very emotional. I'll never forget it because I'm going to see it a billion times. I've seen it three times already. And it's one of my favorite Star Wars movies ever. It's either three or four. No joke. Now we're in the bottom two, guys. Now these movies, no joke, they didn't just blow my feet and socks off. They blew me up. Yeah. Number two, Hacksaw Ridge. I knew before going into this movie that this was going to be like one of the best movies ever made because Mel Gibson directed Braveheart, The Passion of the Christ, and Apocalypto. So I was like, yeah, I'm going to have high expectations. He did not let me down. It's one of the best war movies ever made. Uh, you have a real role model here that you can look up to. It's a true story amazing about a man of real conviction, real faith, and uh, that is 
entirely admirable and I just, I loved this movie. And now we are down to number one, guys. This is it. Arrival. One of the best theater experiences I have ever had. The last time I walked out of a theater freaking out, out of my mind, shivering, shaking, having body spasms was when I walked out of Interstellar. Arrival did the same thing for me and I think it may even be a smarter story than Interstellar. It is truly an incredible movie. Denis Villeneuve, one of the best directors in the business right now. Arrival was an incredibly smart movie. It was a touching movie. It blew me into the sky. And surgery has been tough being pieced back together, but I'm back together. I'm going to see it again and relive the whole process. Well, anyways, that is my top 10, guys. Any one of those films has guaranteed enjoyment. Well, anyways, guys, what did you think of my top 10 list? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Or do you want to tell me what your top 10 list is? Comment below. Tell me what you're thinking. Oh, and there's not going to be a worst list. I don't, I generally speaking, I try to avoid the most horrendous movies of the year because, you know, I don't like to waste my money, that sort of thing. Um, but uh, what I will say is that don't see Sausage Party. Just not a good movie or anything. It's bad. Anyways, that's going to do it for me, guys. Last video of the year. I hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, have a happy new year.